Hey everyone, it's me, Adam P, and I'm here to tell you about my favorite things of January 2020. So my goal for really this decade is to be back into the current trends on music, and I've been listening to quite a new things, and some of my favorite things include Cybersex by Doja Cat. What a fun track, oh my goodness. It is. It has that troll factor, but still, there's talent there, you can see it. And another track I cannot get enough of is Need Your Love by Tennis. I've never listened to this indie group before, but this song has encapsulated me. It is unique, it is fun, it is bright, and I'm ready to listen to it all 2020. Lastly, I added last minute, Physical by Dula Peep. Okay, I'll say her name, Dula Lipa. <laughs> Just, I love calling her Dula Peep. I'm so excited for her upcoming album, and this is the pop I love. It is gives you throwback vibes, but it feels very modern at the same time, and this is the pop I'm excited about. TV shows, it's really only one, and it is Survivor. They are having a season called Winners at War, and it's 20 winners. And I was like, am I, am I about to watch all these seasons with the winners in it? No, no, impossible. Well, <laughs> it is definitely entertaining to watch. I am a reality competition connoisseur. If I could have minored in it in college, I would have. The best seasons to me are Micronesia, season 16, season 20, Heroes vs. Villains, and Kageon season 28 because all three have fantastic strategical moves going on and that's what I'm there for. I'm there for how they're playing the game and how unpredictable it is. I'm not here for the whole we're starving, we're hungry, we're cold, we need some food. I'm here for the game and those were definitely my favorites and after watching the, all these seasons, I'm super excited for winners at War. In movies, my favorite film I saw was Shoplifters, which was on Hulu. It really takes you in to make you think you are really with this family. It's talking about the struggles that this family face. And it is a slow burn because it really crackles at the end and it's definitely worth the watch. For video games, I, the only one I've really been playing has been Bayonetta. Never played it until now, and wow, were the reviews correct. It is an epic, epic game. Absolutely love it. You're a fierce woman who literally destroys people. It's amazing. It's so amazing, and it's fun to collect everything. If you're a completionist, you're really gonna have fun. I finished Bayonetta 1, and I'm into Bayonetta 2 right now, and it's even better than the first one. I couldn't believe it. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out my favorite things of 2020. Make sure you subscribe to my channel where I take a deep dive into everything pop culture. Make sure you hit me up on my social media. And I will see you guys next time for more favorite things in pop culture tea.